Cleveland, the Cleveland Browns avoided a winless November this afternoon when they defeated Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 23-17 in overtime. The Browns entered the game at 3-7 and tied with Pittsburgh for last in the AFC North. Cleveland had not won a game since Halloween and when the Browns routed the Bengals on Monday Night Football. The Browns lost to Miami and Buffalo the last two weekends following a bye after the win over the Bengals. The Buccaneers led the NFC South despite entering this weekend with a record of 5-5, a half game ahead of the Falcons, 5-6. Tampa Bay was coming off its bye week, but won two straight wins heading into it. The Bucks beat the Rams in a clash of the last two Super Bowl champions before beating the Seahawks in Germany two weeks ago. Here are updates from throughout the game in Cleveland. Who says Cleveland football stinks? Skunk on the loose at First Energy Stadium during Browns vs. Buccaneers game Cleveland Browns improved to 4-7 with overtime victory over Tampa Bay Buccaneers with rain falling on Cleveland's lake front. Bucks cornerback Carlton Davis 3 slipped and fell while trying to cover Browns wide receiver Amari Cooper on 3rd and 4 from the Tampa Bay 48-yard line. Browns quarterback Jacoby Brissett saw Cooper all alone, and they connected for a 45-yard pass to the Tampa Bay 3. Talk about catching a big break, right? Two plays later, Pro Bowl running back Nick Chubb rushed for the game-winning, three-yard touchdown with 19 seconds left in overtime. The Browns improved to 4-7, and the Bucks fell to 5-6. Browns and Buccaneers go back and forth to start out and flirt with Chile the score tied 17-17 at the end of regulation, the Buccaneers won the coin toss and began to overtime with the ball. The Browns, though, earned a defensive stop against Brady and company to begin on. All-pro defensive end Miles Garrett drew an illegal hands to the face penalty from left tackle Donovan Smith on second down, then hit Brady as he threw him complete on third down. The Bucks punted, but instead of taking advantage, the Browns stalled on offense without gaining first down. Garrett ended the next series by sacking Brady on third down, forcing the Bucks to punt. The Browns took control at their 29 with 2.45 left to play and marched for the win.